Hello and welcome to our daily learning video for today. Today we're going to be talking about letter J. So let's grab the letter J card. J is for Jaguar and for jungle. Look at the jungle vines. You can also see some jungle animals and there's a lizard behind me. Well, we're gonna decorate the letter J today by making it look like a Jaguar. So what you can do is just take an orange crayon, color your J, and then if you'd like, you can take a Q-tip and some brown paint and paint some spots. So there you have it. This is the letter J. And I wanna see if we can review all the letters that we've been talking about this week. So let's see if you remember what these letters are. And if you didn't learn these letters with me, you can always go back and watch the video for these. So what letter is that? Do you remember? Hmm, that's letter F and F is for fingerprints. Let's see if you remember the next one. What letter is this one? G and G is for garden. Look at all the garden vegetables. What letter is this? Letter H. H is for happy face. What letter is this? That's the letter I and I is for itchy dots. And you got to put itchy dots on me yesterday if you watched that video. So you did a great job remembering and don't forget there's a link below so the grown up at your house can get a copy of this cover and you can save all the letters that we've been decorating. Well today's letter is the letter J and we need to learn how to write the letter J now. So to write letter J we're gonna make a fishing hook but don't tell Fred. Fred is our pet fish there he is. Don't tell Fred though because the letter J looks a lot like a fishing hook with a top. <laughs> so can you try? Oh, Fred, is, is Fred looking at us? Fred, don't worry, this isn't a real fishing hook. Can you write on your paper a fishing hook with a top? I'll show you on the handwriting house. You're gonna curve down and around like this, like a fishing hook, and then give it a top. Fishing hook with a top. A fishing hook with a top. Okay, there's the fishing hook and there's the top and this is the uppercase letter J. Well, remember yesterday we talked about letter I and I had an itchy dot and it must be catching because J has one too. <laughs> So we're going to make a fishing hook and we're going to put an itchy dot on the top. A fishing hook, but don't tell Fred, with a, an itchy dot. So this is a little letter, but it's a teenager letter. So it's going to go down into the basement to hang out with friends. And then you're going to toss that itchy dot upstairs like a ball. So start downstairs curve down into the basement and then toss that ball up. So fishing hook with an itchy dot. Fishing hook with an itchy dot. The itchy dot should be upstairs, middle of the way upstairs. So a fishing hook with an itchy dot. That's the lowercase letter J. Now you can practice right now or pause this and practice right now or wait and do it for homework. So now that we know what letter J looks like, we know how to write the letter J, let's talk now about what letter J sounds like. Letter J sounds like this, J, J, J. Can you try to make that sound? J, J, J. Letter J, letter J says J as in jump. So let's try to see if you can jump as high as you can, okay? Are you ready? Letter J says J as in jump. Whoa, you can jump really high. Let's do it again. Letter J says J, J, J as in jump. 
Wow, you're so good at jumping. Let's do it one more time. What does letter J say? Letter J says J, 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 as in jump. Oh, you're so good at jumping. Well, that was our letter of the day time. And now it's time for math. And for math this week, we've been working on the number two. So I wanna show you some jungle animals on the shelf. Can you tell me how many I have? How many can you see? Let's count them. One, two. I have two jungle animals. And let's see if we can write the number two, okay? So we've been working on two all week. We counted two fish. We wrote the number two with shaving cream one day. So number two looks like this. You're gonna curve around, slide down and out. Now you can try on a board like mine or on regular paper. You can sky write or you can practice on handwriting paper. And I'm gonna show you what the number two looks like here. You're just going to start near the upstairs ceiling curve around and then slide down to the green carpet and out. Curve around, slide down and out. Curve around, slide down and out. That's how you make the number two. Okay, wow. You did a great job with your handwriting today. I am going to cheer for you with my blue pom-pom. Blue is our color. We've been working on it all week long. I wanna see if you remember how to spell blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. Hi, ho, did you know? B-L-U-E spells blue. Well, I'm going to show you some blue butterflies now. And we're going to see which butterflies flew away. We're going to do a missing number math activity. Okay, so take a look at these blue butterflies. We're going to see if we can catch the butterflies that have flown away. Let's put the numbers in the missing spaces. So can you see number two? That's what we've been working on this week. Where's number two? There it is, there's the number two. Now what number comes before two? We learned about it last week. Number one, good, let's count. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh, my butterfly flew away. What comes after four? Five, good job, let's keep counting. Five, six, seven, eight, <gasps> another butterfly flew away. What comes after eight? Nine, let's continue. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Well, good counting, I'm so proud of you. I'm going to send you a sticker. What color is the sticker? It's the color of the butterflies, it's blue, good job. Well, this week we've been working on the color blue and we sang the color blue song, and now we're going to do some shape practice. For shape practice, we're going to be listening to a song. It's not my song, so we're only gonna listen to a tiny bit, but don't worry, I'll put the link below so that you can hear the whole thing. It's called Shapes in the Jungle. Okay, I'm gonna sit there, and if you continue listening to that song, you're going to see a square, and square has been our shape for this whole week. Okay, next we're going to do some art, and for art today, we're going to be making some binoculars out of toilet rolls. We're gonna need them because after that, we're going on a safari. So let's head to the art table. For art today, we're making toilet roll binoculars. So you need two toilet rolls, but if you don't have two empty toilet rolls, you can just take a piece of paper and roll it up like this and tape it and that will work just fine too. Okay, you can decorate your toilet rolls any way you'd like, but I'm going to be using colorful scrapbooking paper. You could use crayons, you could use paint or markers. 
you decorate yours however you'd like. So what you have to do is just take the paper and just kind of measure it with your roll. And then I'm just going to wrap the toilet roll with the colorful paper and tape it closed. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. And hmm, I think I'll use this green paper next. Okay, so let's take the toilet roll and cut our paper. And then we're just going to roll it around the empty toilet roll. Okay, once we have that finished, we've got to connect these two toilet rolls. So the way we're going to connect them is we're just going to tape them together. Just getting a piece of tape and I'm just going to wrap it right around both toilet rolls like this. Now you could be finished. You could just leave your Binoculars just like this, especially if you're doing this and you're very young. But if you're a little bit older and you want to add string to it, then you can just take a little piece of string and we're going to punch a hole in each side of the binoculars. One over here and one over here. Okay, and now we're just going to tie the string on each side. Okay, and on this side. Okay, and there you have it. We have a pair of binoculars. We can use these now for our jungle safari. Okay, so here are the binoculars that we made. They're perfect for our jungle safari. We're going to be getting on a Jeep. I'll show you what it looks like. Now that is one cool Jeep. So let's get let's take our hand and put it on our shoulder and bring it across. That's our seatbelt and click. Let's do that again. Put your seatbelt on. Click. Okay, now help me start the engine of this Jeep, okay? Vroom. Oh, thank you. Uh-oh, it's going to be a bumpy ride. Can you bounce a little bit? We're riding on this super cool Jeep, and we're going to stop and use our binoculars to look for animals, okay? Oh, it's a bumpy ride. Uh, let's stop right here, and let's look and see what animals. Oh, it's a monkey. Look at the monkey. Monkeys can be found in the jungle. They have long arms. Their arms are perfect from, for swinging from tree to, to tree. Okay, let's, let's keep going. Oh, uh, it's a bumpy ride on this Jeep. You can bounce around and pretend we're driving on the Jeep. Okay, so let's stop right here and see what animal we see next. Okay. <gasps> It's a snake. Look at that snake. It has scales. It reminds me of the fish we learned about earlier this week. This is an anaconda snake. It lives in the jungle and it gets very, very long. In fact, it's the longest snake in the world. Let's get out of here, everybody. Whoa. And I forgot to tell you, if you don't have toilet roll binoculars, just use your hands. That works just fine, too. Okay, let's get going again. We're riding on our Jeep and it's a bumpy ride. Oh no, I think I see a hole up ahead. We're gonna have to jump it. Are you ready? Jump, oh, oh, we jumped over that hole in the road. Let's stop now and see what animal we see. Whoa, use your binoculars. Look at this animal and tell me what color it is. It's a beautiful blue and orange and black. These colors are so bright and beautiful. They make me know that God is a creative God. He created these really beautiful animals. 
This frog, though, looks beautiful, but it doesn't taste good at all. In fact, it's poison. This is a poison dart frog that lives in the jungle. These bright colors warn the other animals, don't eat me, don't eat me, stay away. Let's keep going, okay? Uh, riding in this bumpy, on this bumpy road in this Jeep. I think I see a curve coming up. Everybody lean this way. Oh, that's good. We made it around the curve. Okay, now let's take a stop and see what animal we're going to see next. Oh, what animal is that? It's an elephant. An elephant has two tusks. It has two big ears and one long trunk. Wow, that's a big elephant. Okay, let's keep going. It's a bumpy ride on this Jeep. Okay, I see another curve. Everybody lean this way. Lean. Oh, we made it around the curve. Let's stop again and see what animals we can see in the jungle. What animal is this? This is a warthog. Maybe you've seen The Lion King, and that might be a great movie to watch today. The warthog kind of looks like an elephant. It does have two tusks, but it doesn't have those big giant ears like an elephant, and it has short legs, not long ones. This is more like a pig. Okay, see you later, warthog. Okay. Let's see if we can continue our Jeep ride. Oh, it's pretty bumpy. Uh, <laughs> let's stop for a moment and see what animal we can see next. <gasps> What's that? That is a tiger. Look at those stripes on the tiger. A tiger has a long tail, sharp claws, and sharp teeth. Let's get out of here, everybody. Let's go faster. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's stop again, and let's see if we can find a friendly jungle animal. Ooh, what animal is this? This is a giraffe. A giraffe has long legs and a long neck. God designed the giraffe this way so that he could reach up into the top of the trees and eat the leaves. A giraffe is a herbivore. That means he doesn't eat meat. He only eats plants. Okay, let's keep going. Goodbye, giraffe. <laughs> okay, what a bumpy ride on this jungle safari. Okay, let's stop again and see what we can see. Oh, look at that beautiful bird. This is a toucan. A toucan has a really big beak. This is so that it can break the nuts that it eats for its food. If you look really carefully with your binoculars, you might be able to see a teeny tiny bit of blue, our color today, on this toucan. Can you spot the blue? It's on his beak. There's just a tiny bit on his beak. What other colors can you see? Mm-hmm, very good, very good. Lots of colors on this bird. God was creative when he designed the toucan. Okay, let's keep going. I think there's one more animal to see. Oh, it's a bumpy ride, everybody. Okay, let's stop. I think there's one more. And this is a crocodile. The crocodile has a skinny snout, unlike the alligator, which, whose snout is wider. The crocodile has four legs and a big, thick tail that it uses to swish back and forth and swim in the water. Wow, look at that crocodile. Okay, well, we had some fun looking at all those animals in the jungle. Now it's time to get back to class, but we're going to need to get on a boat first. So let's get on the boat and let's row ourselves out of this jungle. Row, 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 row your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! It's a crocodile. Oh my goodness. Let's 
row faster, row faster, everybody. Row, 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 row. Oh, that was close. Let's row back to class. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah, it's a crocodile. Row faster, everybody. Row, 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 row. Oh, well, we're back in our classroom. <laughs> and I enjoyed our animal safari here in the jungle. Now we're going to read about the jungle in a story that the rainforest grew all around. The rainforest is a kind of jungle, so I'm going to change it and say the jungle grew all around while I read it. This story is by Susan K. Mitchell. Hey, I see a blue butterfly, like the ones we counted in math today. On the ground, there fell a seed, the fluffiest seed that you ever did see. The seed in the ground and the rainforest grew all around, and the rainforest or jungle grew all around. And from the seed, there grew a tree, the tallest tree that you ever did see. The tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the jungle grew all around. And in the tree, there lay a cat. It's a jaguar, the spottiest cat that you ever did see. The cat in the tree and the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the jungle grew all around. And near the cat, there was a vine, the curliest vine that you ever did see. The vine near the cat and the cat in the tree, the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the jungle grew all around. And by the vine, there was a snake, the greenest snake that you ever did see. The snake by the vine and the vine near the cat, the cat in the tree and the tree from the seed, the seed in the ground and the jungle grew all around. And by the snake there crawled an ant, the busiest ant that you ever did see. The ant by the snake and the snake by the vine, the vine near the cat and the cat in the tree, the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground, and the jungle grew all around. And near the ant there was a sloth, the slowest sloth that you ever did see. <laughs> The sloth near the ant and the ant by the snake, the snake by the vine and the vine near the cat, the cat in the tree and the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the jungle grew all around. And by the sloth, there was a plant, the prettiest plant that you ever did see. The plant by the sloth and the sloth near the ant, the ant by the snake and the snake by the vine, the vine near the cat and the cat in the tree, the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the jungle grew all around. And in the plant, there was a frog, the brightest frog that you ever did see. The frog in the plant and the plant by the sloth. The sloth near the ant and the ant by the snake. The snake by the vine and the vine near the cat and the cat in the tree and the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the jungle grew all around. And by the frog there sat a bird, the funniest bird that you ever did see. The bird by the frog and the frog in the plant, the plant by the sloth and the sloth near the ant, the ant by the snake and the snake by the vine, the vine near the cat and the cat in the tree, the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground, and the jungle grew all around. And near the bird, shh, there hung a bat, the sleepiest bat that you ever did see. The bat near the bird and the bird by the frog, the frog in the plant and the plant by the sloth, the sloth near the ant, the ant by the snake, the snake by the vine and the vine near the cat, the cat in the tree, the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground and the jungle grew all around. And by the bat, there was a pod, the highest pod that you ever did see. The pod by the bat, the bat near the bird, the bird by the frog, the frog in the plant, the plant by the sloth, the sloth near the ant, the ant by the snake, the snake by the vine, the vine near the cat and the cat in the tree, the tree from the seed and the seed in the ground, and the jungle grew all around. And from the pod, there blew a seed, the fluffiest seed that you ever did see, and the rainforest grew all around, all around, the rainforest jungle grew all around. So it's starting all over again. There's a new seed, 
that will be planted and add more green to the jungle. Well, I hope you enjoyed our day today. We learned about J. J is for the jungle and also for jaguar. We decorated our J like a jaguar. We wrote the number two. We counted two jungle animals and we even looked for missing butterflies. We made some super cool binoculars and went on a jungle safari together. I hope you'll come back next time for our daily learning video. Until then, goodbye.